The U.S. House of Representatives approved more than $40 billion more aid for Ukraine on Tuesday, May the 10th, as Congress raced to keep military aid flowing and boost the government in Kiev as it grapples with the Russian invasion. The House passed the Ukraine spending bill by 368 to 57 with every no vote coming from Republicans. The measure now heads to the Senate, which is expected to act quickly. President Joe Biden had asked Congress to approve an additional $33 billion in aid for Ukraine two weeks ago, but lawmakers decided to decrease the military and humanitarian funding. What I think it's important for the American people to know is that what Putin has done is not only an act of brutality, it's an act of cowardice. Who but a coward would pretend he's going to war and bomb a, mater a maternity hospital? Who but a coward would, uh, would have his soldiers resort to the cruelty of rape of children or um, uh, their parents in front of them, boys and girls? Who but a coward would pile these children in trains and take them to Russia? All of this will be a matter of, a, of, of coming to justice at some point. But right now, we have to have it come to a conclusion that you don't do that. It's outside the circle of civilized human behavior. Putin, coward. So in any event, what we're doing here is very important, is supplying weaponry and security assistance, government and economic assistance, humanitarian assistance, and I thank Congresswoman Lee and Mr. McGovern for their uh, f focus on all of that. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.